What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superman hat bringing you another video on the Modern Ninja channel and today we are going over why black belts matter and how they work. So sit back, relax, cause I'm telling you right now, the truth hurts. All right, so there are a couple misconceptions about uh, what a black belt is, how it works, and what it actually means in real life, how that carries over. And so in this video, I'm basically going to try to explain that for you as much as I can. So the first big thing I need to get with is what is a black belt? Because we can't talk about black belts unless we know what the black belt is. And in my experience, there are about three different types of black belts, right? And, uh, every black belt can fall under one of these three categories or a combination, right? They can have a little of both, but the three head categories are going to be number one, the black belt that doesn't count. That type of black belt is the black belt that um, oftentimes got their black belt too young oftentimes didn't train very long or hard for it oftentimes would quote unquote get pay for their belt obviously belts are free the fabric cost money stuff like that but uh, when I say pay for your belt I mean they paid for their belt over practicing for their belt they paid for it over sweating for it stuff like that so those don't count when I say black belt if you meet you know some 10 year old on the street that says oh yeah i have a black belt i got it in two years that that doesn't count it doesn't count in my book i'm sorry that may be you but straight up that doesn't count now number two number two is the um show off black belt okay so the black belt that spends 100 percent of their time so all of these are extreme and there could be mashups but the black belt that spends 100 percent of their training time on um, weapon tricks, flipping, um, showing off, show off techniques, things that are less functional and more pr and more uh, flashy, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I love personally practicing that kind of stuff. I don't practice that, you know, entirely. I, it's not my core of what I practice, but I love it. It's fun to watch. Um, one of the most entertaining martial arts to watch, I think, is wushu, and I've said this before on this channel, I believe. But it's one of the uh, one of my favorite martial arts to just watch people compete in and watch people go through you know stage fights in. It's it's completely entertaining, and that's fine. That is a black belt in their own right. That is um, they put in you know blood, sweat, and tears to get to that level of martial arts, and that's fine. And then there's the third level of black belt, the third type of black belt. The third type of black belt is the fighter. They spend all their time learning militaristic combat. So uh, an example of this would be like uh, the, the art that I teach is Tong Sudo. That is a militaristic type of martial art. Um, a, the flashy kind would be Taekwondo. That is a flashy type of martial art. Uh, I love both. I've practiced both. But it's just different and so someone that spends 100% of their time on fighting will have a certain set of skills that someone that spends 100% of their time on flash won't have and vice versa just it's different types of black belts and there's no problem with those two there's a problem with the first one and I'll get into that in a second but the second two just fine so now it's time to get into why does it matter so now we're on why it matters, and uh, why it matters may uh, is kind of the reason I even made this video. Uh, there are too many of the first type of black belt. There are too many people who pay for their black belt, don't actually put the training in, and uh, they are oftentimes the most braggadocious black belts, even more than trickers. Like, Black belts that pay for their black belt and get it super quick don't understand the weight that it carries, the 
the meaning it truly has. They don't understand the importance of it. And so they don't cherish it. They just want to show it off. They just tell everybody. And so those are the people that will go out with their friends, say, oh yeah, I can fight because I have a black belt and end up losing the fight to people that learned how to fight on the street because they, they, they didn't put any effort into it. They didn't practice anything. They didn't learn anything. And I have a huge problem with those type of people. And if that's you, stop doing that because it takes away the value from the other two who actually put in work. It takes away value from what that belt means, what that uh, title means to people that actually put in the work to get that title, to get to that level. And so all of you guys that say, oh, I'm a black belt or um, I'm a self-taught black belt. One, self-taught black belts don't exist. You cannot be self-taught black belt. That's just not how that works. But um, you are the people, those are the people that ruin what black belts mean and it pisses me off I hate it I 100% hate it um, and so if that's you stop it <laughs> like for real because it takes again it takes away the actual meaning of the belt and this brings me on to my second topic I'm here to clear some things up that those uh, first category black belts have started black belts will beat Street Fighter I've heard from a lot of people that, oh, uh, I learned how to fight on the streets, you know, trial and error. I can beat up a black belt. You're only half right. So if you're fighting one, the first category, you might, yeah, you'll beat them. Good job. Well, well done. Well done. It's the equivalent of beating a 12 year old. Good job. When you're fighting the second category, you might beat them because they don't, they, they're, they're all about showing off and you know speed They're, they may they may have never actually practiced a sparring match ever like i know some uh trickers that are just don't like fighting they don't do fighting that's just not worth the thing and that's fine there's no no uh issues with that but street fighters might beat them three is when the changes if there is a if you have if someone has a black belt if someone earned their black belt and worked for it and they spend, spent their time in a militaristic style of combat, street fighting has no chance. And here's the thing, people try to like, okay, then go ahead and fight. Go ahead and uh, do your combat, go ahead and fight. Uh, I hear this all the time with um, you guys actually saying, oh, Edge, Spider Dude, you guys should fight. Edge, Dusk, you guys should fight. I hear that all the time and here's the problem. At least, especially in my martial arts, real fights that are drastic don't last very long. So I have gone through training that makes my initial reaction detrimental. Like, if someone punches at me, it's not just a block and punch back. No, that's that's baby stuff. If someone punches at me, breaking the arm they punch me with instantly. That's not something you can spar with. That's not something you can joke around and see who's a better fighter in the parking lot with your friends. That's not something you can do. If you are fighting a, a militaristic styled black belt, they can kill you. They know ways to, whoa, whoa, that was weird. Hope this is okay. They know ways to hurt you, to, you know, kill you. And so one thing that you have to do is realize that one, they don't play around. People that know that stuff can break arms, break legs, uh, incapacitate quickly, like efficiently. And that kind of stuff you can't just do haphazardly because that has some consequences on the human body that aren't good if you are just doing this with some friends. And secondly, even if it was just a practice match, they're still more likely to beat you. Why? Yeah, you may be able to get some, if you're if you're good at street fighting, you may be able to get a hit or two on them. But I guarantee you they can take your hits. I guarantee you they can hit harder than you. And I guarantee you they can outlast you. 
they have more stamina because those three factors are the biggest factor in real combat. If you can't take a hit, you will lose because I guarantee you, no matter how good you are, how fast you are, it's only a matter of time until you get hit and you will have to take a hit. Number two, if you can't hit hard, you will lose. If you can't inflict damage on your the opponent, there's no way for you to win. You can take every hit, but if you can't throw it back, there's no point. You will eventually fall. And number three, if this is a sparring match, it's not gonna be some quick thing. Two minutes is a long time. Two minutes, three minutes is a long time to be continuously fighting. And if you are in a match with someone who's trained to do that, you will not last. You will be panting and pass out on your own before you outlast that black belt. It's just what it is. It's like, it's just how it is. And so I want you to keep that in mind whenever you're like, oh, or whenever you hear someone say, oh, nah, you don't need to do martial arts. It's you, you, all you need is street fighting. You can, it's better that way anyway. No, that is not true. It's just the type of martial arts you choose. And it doesn't matter if you want to do, you know, the show off or the, uh, the militaristic way or some combination of both. But just realize that that is how that works. You, it's it's not quite so cut and dry. Not every black belt is the same. So what does this mean for you guys? Um, as far as you, those of you that either want to learn self-defense for whatever reason or want to learn how to show off, want to learn martial arts for whatever reason, first, figure out what your reason is. If it's a combination, figure out what combination, what percentage of each side you want to be. Make sure it's not the first one. <laughs> Uh, and number two, once you do that, figure out how to learn from someone because here's the thing, YouTube tutorials are great for what they are. I make them. Uh, it's great for helping you um, expand your horizon, learn new things, get more techniques. But it's not going, you're still going to have very fundamental issues that you cannot get over other than being with an actual teacher. Guys, I have made plenty of YouTube tutorials for you guys. I'm also a certified martial arts instructor. And from experience in both areas, you need in-person teachings to be able to teach you some of the most important parts of martial arts, some of the important parts of fighting or tricking all of the all the t details that maybe I maybe it skipped in the video or it's hard to describe there are some things I just can't describe to someone and have to be there to get them to do it there's just certain things that just, it's just how it works and so if you really want to learn how to be the ultimate fighter or the ultimate tricker or whichever uh, combination that you choose if you really want to do that Yes, YouTube tutorials will help you expand your horizon. But you have to start off with a good base. If you don't start off with a good base, everything else you practice will be, um, it'll be sketch. Like, if you don't start off with a great base, everything else will be flawed. It's like, um, it's like stacking in Jenga, right? If you stack everything perfectly, if you stack the base perfectly and each layer on top, will be great but if the base is off it doesn't matter how many layers or how nice the next layers look if the base is skewed then the wind can blow it over there's a fundamental problem about that it's like building building if the base is not there it's not gonna work you have to learn how to punch you have to learn how to use your body for power before you can learn how to use these other techniques effectively and that is honestly one of the biggest problems I've seen with those of you on Google Plus and those of you that have sent in videos. That's one of the biggest problems I've seen with uh, you, uh, the techniques that you do because you practice it. I can tell you've gotten those techniques down, but I can tell you don't understand the fundamentals behind the technique. So I highly advise for all of you guys wanting to be your own ninja, your own version of a modern ninja. Uh, 
learn from actual people. It is extremely beneficial. Yeah, it's not always free. I'm sorry, I can't, you know, help you with that, but it is worth it. Now, the last thing is exceptions. Now, there are people out there that don't necessarily have a black belt, but they are do have the qualifications. And here's what I mean. There are people that maybe um, know a, a martial artist, know someone that's trained for many years, and instead of taking you know official classes, they go out and train with them day in day out. It's kind of like a karate kid, right? He didn't go to a, he didn't go to the school. He didn't get awarded a black belt, but by all means, he was one. He spent the, his hour. He spent his uh, blood, sweat, and tears training to get to where he would be. And so, yeah, there are some examples where someone doesn't have a black belt can fight well, but it's all because of the same, uh, it's all because of what a black belt is. You can do it without owning one. Like, you can have all that training if you get it from the right source without owning the belt, without going through the certification process. And so, uh, just also keep that in mind when talking to people about this subject. I know this was kind of ranty and kind of preachy. Uh, I'm sorry, but had to get it out. This is a rant video or anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see me do more rants, then uh, the best way to do is not even to just tell me ideas. It's to talk to me. Just talk to me about subjects. And eventually, for those of you that talk to me, you'll know we'll hit a subject that I rant on and I will go off. And so if you want to give me ideas, that is the best way to do it. If you want to message me, hit me up on Hangouts down below. I don't know if it'll be down below or in the link like somewhere in my channel, but you can find me. Find me on Hangouts. It'll be The Modern Ninja. Hit me up. Till next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out.